Oh my god, what are you doing here? It is so early. I'm still getting ready. Hey everybody, I'm Rochelle Leah, and this is UFC All Access, as you can clearly see. Today we have an awesome show in store for you. We are going to get an exclusive look inside the lives of the best UFC fighters in the world. We're going to be there when they wake up, when they eat, when they train. You're even going to get to see some things that you normally don't get to see on camera. So, today's fighter is UFC middleweight champion Rich Franklin. This is truly an all-access pass. So, get out of here so I can get ready. A fighter who competes in the UFC must be well-versed in all aspects of mixed martial arts. That includes boxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu or submission fighting, as well as Muay Thai or kickboxing. In addition, he must undergo intensive weight training and cardiovascular workouts, as well as adhering to strict dietary and nutritional programs. No UFC fighter exemplifies this dedication better than tonight's featured fighter, UFC middleweight champion, Rich Franklin. Rich is getting ready for his upcoming fight March 4th, where he'll take on David Luazo at UFC 58. Hey guys, all right, it is five to eight right now. Rich said, do not knock on his door before eight o'clock. I'm from Las Vegas, we're in Ohio. It's like 26 degrees out here, I'm freezing cold. I'm taking the ass beating, I don't care. I'm gonna knock. He's gonna be pissed. Good morning. Early. I know. For I'm sure. sorry. It's worth it. It's so cold out here. Is it? You, you run? I thought you were running with me. I'm running in heels. Okay, well, hang on. Let me get my stuff. We're running outside today. Oh, it leaves me out here. I'm just joking. It's too cold for that crap. Come in. Thank you so much for having us here. Hey, you're welcome. I just can't believe you showed up with heels on to run in. <laughs> I run them all the time. All right, so I got a lot of crap to do today. Um, I gotta get downstairs, get my run in on the treadmill. Awesome. And then uh, we got we got places to go. So uh, cool. let's get this done. Let's go. All right, this is my uh, gym, and it's nothing fancy, but it's got everything I need. I'm usually on the treadmill around 8:15 in the morning, and that that workout, that routine, takes me about a half hour. No warm ups. I usually start somewhere around seven mile an hour, and uh, this is my jog, and uh, it's a 20 minute routine, and it ends somewhere around eight five, between eight five and nine. So now he's going to be sprinting. We were talking a little bit yesterday, and he was telling me in his sprints what he does. He checks his heart monitor very closely. Thirty second goes. Full recovery. Like four weeks ago, it took my heart about a minute and 45 seconds to fully recover below 130 beats. And uh, now I've gotten it to the point where it's, it takes me about 45 seconds. And that's important to me because in between rounds, when, you know, when I go from second round to third round to third round to fourth round, I have a one minute break there. And that one minute is my window and I'm trying to get my heart, I'm trying to train my heart to fully recover in that one minute. So when he first wakes up in the morning, some nights he'll put on his heart rate monitor and said his, his lowest heart rate is like in the upper 40s, which is unbelievable. You better be in good shape to have your heart rate be that low, otherwise there's something wrong with you. I feel I'm tired. I hate running, I really do. So Rich, what are we gonna be doing after this? All right, we're gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna make you a uh, shake, one of my world famous shakes. That 20 minutes of running was like the longest 20 minutes of my life because I want his world famous shake. shake. 
The shake's made in the morning. It's made, uh, I make it with protein powder. It has close to 50 grams of protein in it. And I always put a, a banana in there. The, uh, it gives me some, you know, some nutrients, things like potassium, helps with muscle cramps and things like that. Plus, it just makes the shake taste a little better. A half a cup of oatmeal and then a little bit of flaxseed oil. It's what pure it? fat. So you put pure fat into your shake? Yeah, it's good fat. It's omega fat, yeah. Are you putting fat into my shake? This is your shake I'm making. I'm a little nervous about this. This is unbelievable. I'm drinking this every morning from now on. Nutrition is just a big part of my training. The point of the diet is just to eat clean. If it doesn't grow or if it doesn't eat something that grows, don't eat it. A typical meal would be a measured out amount of uh, fibrous carbohydrates like a broccoli or a green bean, a measured out amount of uh, a meat source like lean chicken or uh, lean beef, and then a, a measured out amount of starches like a, like an oatmeal or a potato. Just the way that if you're going to eat clean the whole week, you know, then you, you, get, you get a day where you can just relax. When the guy does cheat, it's, um, it's impressive. It, he puts me to shame. He, I mean, it's, it's all about candy and junk food. And for a while, I went on this Krispy Kreme donut bench. <laughs> we would, I swear, Beth and I would drive. One night, we uh, stopped at one convenience store, and they were all out of donuts. So then we went to the next convenience store, and the next convenience store, and nobody had any donuts. We stopped at like eight stores, and finally came back to the, the store that we started at, and the delivery guy had come. It took us like an hour and a half. We don't play around, man. Cheat meals are serious business. I love a man who does the dishes. Not a bad quality. All right, Rich just wanted to go get ready. I'm going to finish my shake. When we come back, we're spending all day with Rich. It's going to be awesome. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with UFC All Access. When we return, we'll head to the Power Station Gym where Rich gets a surprise, and his workout will blow you away. This is UFC All Access. <laughs> Okay, so we're here at the power station. Rich is going to be doing some weightlifting here. This is his crazy intense workout. He said, do not interrupt. He's never late to this. 11 o'clock sharp, and uh, this guy kicks his butt. So let's do it. It's just a hardcore gym for guys that are interested in pursuing a career as a professional athlete, a bodybuilder, or a powerlifter. And if you're not serious about one of those three things, then you pretty much don't come to that gym. Three, three. When we came into the power station, he tested my body fat. We had tested it the week prior. I was at seven flat. You sure that the week was as low as seven? Rich? That's what I said. <laughs> I don't make mistakes, buddy. That's for no me to stop. Exactly. You're down to five nights. Obviously, everything Rich is doing is working. His body fat is 5.9%. Last week, it was 7%. That's over a percent loss in a week, which is almost unheard of. The average college male is 18%. So that goes to show you everything he's doing is obviously doing a good job. Now on to phase two, the workout. Once we get started, we never stop. No rest, no break. Oftentimes, I come in and I just bow my head before I start working out. I'm like, God, help me get through this workout today. We're going to go for about 45 minutes to an hour without stopping. No break. It's like hell. That was just his warm up. How many guys can hang with Rick? Every workout that we do at the power station is different. You've seen one example, and what we did is we started with a body part, and then we moved from one body part to the next to the next until you complete the whole body. You got eight minute round. All right, here we go. You gotta keep this pace, eight minutes. Marty did two tours in Vietnam, and um, he is one of the proudest U.S. Marines you'll ever meet. Never get tired, never get tired. He really cares about me and my training, but um, when we come into the gym, it's all business. No loafing. My philosophy is Rich needs endurance and strength. So he fights five five-minute rounds. My philosophy is we'll go ten five-minute rounds or ten ten-minute rounds so he never, ever gets tired. He has been going for 30 minutes straight nonstop. I don't know how he does it. It's crazy. Yeah, 
Because we're just getting the groove now. He just keeps reminding you that you're a machine and that you have to keep going. Machine, come on. All right, only 200 more pounds. 25. Big weight, big weight. Might as well do 50. Might as well do 50. Too easy. That's it, come on. Machine, machine. Never get weak legged. Never get big legged in the ring. Never walk around. He's been leg. doing this for 55 minutes. We have five minutes left. How many professional athletes do you think would really do this stuff? I've had professional football players, professional baseball players, pro wrestlers. Nobody can hang with Rich Franklin. Nobody can do what he does. Nobody has the discipline of the mind or the body and the guys in the machine. I've never seen anybody that can hang with him, go with him, the speed, the distance, the strength. He's just the most complete, awesome athlete I've ever had. He just did that for 60 minutes nonstop. Craziest workout I've ever seen in my entire life. I drink a lot of water. I drink uh, basically as much water as I can, and uh, no, no less than a gallon and a half a day. That was unbelievable. How do you feel? Exhausted? I feel as bad as I look. You don't look bad. I feel worse. How fast do you think I would faint doing that? All right, you guys, we'll be Let's right back with more UFC All Access. See you soon. When we return, we head to gym number two to hook up with Rich's Muay Thai coach, Neil. And then, Rich pimps his ride. Welcome back to UFC All Access. Rich, can you tell us where we are now? Right now, we're at Saken Martial Arts, and this Neil is my Thai coach. He's my Muay Thai coach, but he's getting ready for a fight today. Normally, he runs me through a private, and... Uh, I'm going to be helping him out training, too, so the workout will be a little different. We'll probably grapple and a little bit of everything today, see what we do. All right, Neil, can you tell me what you're going to be doing with Rich today or what you're doing to him? What we're doing to him today? <laughs> um, we're going to start off a little bit of rolling, do a little bit of time today to come benefit both of us today. Uh, then basically we're trying to embarrass him on film today. Awesome. <laughs> and then Neil at uh, Saken. I go to his school and I work my Muay Thai there and I usually take a, a private from Neil one day a week and then uh, we do some timing on a different day and he comes in with me on Saturday mornings to spar. He's really good at correcting technique and feeding the mitts and stuff like that and, uh, and he's, he's a great Thai boxer. As a team with all of his other training partners, Jiu Jitsu coach and boxing coaches, it's like we know what Rich needs. They all have the same game plan like look, we're going to make you better. I don't time with very many people, but I do time with Neil. I can trust that he can throw some elbows and, and things and knees and, and different chamber type kicks and, and not cut me or, or hurt me real bad. He gave me a cross, man. I saw that. <laughs> he went, oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> like, wham! Oh, I think that uh, the thing that makes me champion rather than fighter is, is the people that I have that, that help me prepare for my fight. If I ran already and I lifted, I'm good for the day, man. <laughs> I mean, just a nice light workout. I wish it was warm out. You guys would have come here in the summer. The doors would have been off the Jeep. That's how we roll. So I've been talking about putting a lift on it for ever. And I'm finally, you know, taking it in and having the work done. So this is an interesting place. Where did you just uh, take me to? It's my friend's <laughs> shop. This is where we're going to get the work done on the Jeep. I got to pick up the Hummer, see see what it looks like. After the reality show, the UFC gave us, gave us the Hummer as a gift. I found uh, a company here, Spade Creations, uh, a guy that I know, his name's uh, Rick. He had approached me about customizing the car and putting it in a car show. I just hope they're here. I'm so excited. Hello. So, tell me what you did to this thing. We did a 7 inch headrest screen, we did a 14 inch flip down screen, and then we did a nav TV piece in the front to con control everything. And then we did uh, 16 10 inch whoopers in the back. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. You can never have too much. Wow. We're gonna probably end up putting 
four or five more TVs in here. <laughs> you know that I, feeling gonna, you get? We're gonna put right a 22-inch monitor in the side there, so that way when he's sitting down at the club and sitting down on VIP, the UFC thing is kind of going in the background with the screens going. Nice. I'm just salivating listening to this. <laughs> so, you do some amazing work, and thank you. I'll be bringing my car down. I hope so. Um, I'm gonna have to take this home now. So. Where's the keys? Where's your uh, Mercedes? I don't have the Mercedes yet. Uh, when you get it, then I'll trade you for a week or two. All right. <laughs> So we're stuck. The um, the garage door that gives us access to take my Hummer out broke. Civilization. <laughs> oh my God! It was a pretty tight fit. So Ricky thought he'd pull the Hummer out for Rich. Rick, come here. I was freezing and I wanted some answers. Well, what, what was that? What happened over there? That was definitely a mess. The uh, garage door popped off the track and it's kind of an embarrassing moment. It's an issue, but we, we got it out. Thank you so much for saving the show. Oh, yeah, that's the show. We will let you hang out. All right, I'm All right. being called. I've got to go to that. You got my Jeep? Got it. I'll Take come care pick of it up in a couple weeks. Good meeting you. Good meeting you. Thanks Thank you for saving it. No <laughs> we'll see you later. Take, Take care. care. Guys. Thanks, bye bye. That was a train wreck. What a mess. So, our first day of UFC All Access comes to an interesting end. When we return, the UFC Hummer draws some attention. Rich brings us to his main gym, and then we finally get some R&R. &R. They gave me the uh, H2. And of course, I don't like driving it all that much because it attracts attention. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's funny. All right, that's hilarious. Can you get that on camera? <laughs> that's Follow us. So that's awesome. The fans seriously wanted an autograph, and Rich had them follow us. A dad and his two sons, huge UFC fans, and Rich made their day. Thank you. You're welcome. That's where you train at? One of the schools I train at. A lot of fighters, when they train, they have a, a, a one gym kind of fix-all place that they go to. It's here, what I've done in Cincinnati is I've basically gone out and I've found the best at whatever it is that I'm going to pursue. But I come here to uh, Georgia school, a few rounds of jump rope, a few rounds of bag work, and then uh, a few rounds of uh, focus mitts. That was much faster than my first shot. Yes, it was. Unfortunately, the footage won't show this, but George is like my right arm. We literally, every workout that I do, he's there, pretty much. Right here, Zion's bars, not even out on the market yet. Pretty good. I mean, these guys take care of me. They really, really look out for uh, for my well-being. My wife's a huge fan. She's uh, constantly checking things out on the Internet and, and supportive about my training. And I believe God has blessed me with good people in my life. I surround myself with good people, and, and that's, what, that's what I have. I mean, people just that, that watch out for me. In addition to his coaches and his wife, Beth, Rich has another person who really takes care of him. So this is one of the few relaxing parts of my day. Rich, you've seen how he trains. He knows that the neurological system or your nervous system controls and coordinates the function of your body. If he wants to be functioning at his best in a fight, then he wants to have all the nerves functioning at the same time. I come into the chiropractic office and he just takes care of me. He'll come to my fights. Oftentimes, like if I'm cutting weight, he'll make sure that I have my water and my food and stuff like that. I told you, I go to the best. to Rich today. We've seen the way he eats, the way he works out, and now we're going to get to see the way he relaxes with a little bit of golf. Hopefully, I'll kick his butt. It's not like this could end up on TV. Uh-oh. 69 yards. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> what is that yeah. All? Rich, I just want to say thank you so much for giving us all access. Yeah, I hope you had a good time. I hope the fans enjoyed it. You've seen my schedule. I train, I eat, I train, I eat, train a little bit more, and then I sleep. <laughs> uh, occasionally, we fit in a little r and &R. I'm Rochelle. You just watched UFC All Access. We'll see you next time.
I'm seriously tired watching him. But I don't mind because he has a really nice butt. I do have a nice butt. That came out so wrong. I did not mean that. Rick! <laughs> I bet you Zion's okay. panties. Every day. Every day. See? Told you.